There's nothing older in the history of mankind than the idea that, that wisdom resides in the few, the elite. And, and they have been ordained to forcibly impose that wisdom on the rest of us. That, that, that's the ugliest parts of human history uh, are explained by that kind of phenomena where people think that they have the right to control the lives of other people. It's, it's an arrogance. It's a, I, mean, I mean, just think about this for a second. Now, suppose I, suppose I write a letter to the Congress of the United States, or any of, any of you, you write a letter to the Congress of the United States, just say Walter Williams does, and I tell the Congress of the United States, my name is Walter Williams, and I am an emancipated adult. I am fully capable of taking care of my own retirement needs. If I fail to do so, let me depend on charity or die in the streets. But stop taking money out of my paycheck to put in your bankrupt retirement plan named Social Security. Now, how do you think that would be greeted by the Congress of the United States? <laughs> It'd be greeted with contempt. That is, here I am an adult and I, I want to take care of my own retirement. Now, if I'm too resolute in, in wanting to do that by not giving, sending my money, they'll kill me. Look, you, you might say, well, the, some of the listeners might say, the viewers might say, well, what do you, what's this guy talking about killing? Well, suppose I tell the, the agents of the United States Congress, I'm not allowing any of my money to go to Social Security. What are they going to do? They're going to fine me. And I say, I'm not going to pay your fine. They say, well, we're going to take your house. I'm going to say, no, you're not. This is my house. They're going to send armed agents to take my house, and I'm going to be in my window armed to protect my house, and they're going to kill me. <laughs> it's as simple as that. 